This is in response to Itamai's Pandai's uh, question relating to always being a foreigner in the Philippines and if the language would make a difference. It's nearly possible to not be a foreigner. There's people who have been there 40 years and are still seen as the Kano or whatever. The Philippines just sees you as a foreigner, nothing else. It will never change. The language stuff, like I said, you will get some extra respect. People do appreciate you speaking the local languages. But at the same time, it won't actually change you from being a foreigner in the country. It just does, as you say, gain some respect. At the same time, um, it's like if we went to the UK and my wife was with other RF, with RFWs, they would see that my wife is not of the same grouping because she's married to the foreigner. She is not an RFW, so they have some sort of hierarchy of some childish crab mentality relating to, well, you're different. Um, Filipinos do that a lot. Uh, they separate groups. The main thing here is just not get into it. Um, it's like you'll hear the, the word Chinoy quite a lot, which is Chinese Filipino. These are Filipinos that have been there for a hundred years or so, you know, their families, but they're still called Chinois, they're not called Filipinos. And you'll still hear some people say, a hey, true Filipino. It, I mean, the I think his name is Binay, the, the um, vice president of the Philippines. He gets so much stick for being dark coloured. And you think, well, that is actually probably more uh, like a true Filipino heritage wise, you know, his actual skin colour for the region, etc. But it's sort of mocked. So, as a foreigner, I'm quite happy to remain a foreigner. Um, but also, a lot of this stuff will not change. It's tied with crab mentality. Um, people like to mock each other. They like to, what they call chismis, which is like gossiping. Um, so, there's no, nobody you need to please. Um, but you will never be a Filipino. And I wouldn't even bother entertaining trying to be one, because they'll change the rules on a regular basis. Just be yourself. Everything else doesn't matter. Learning Bisaya is very important, but it's more to do with understanding what's going on around you. I I know a lot more than I let on. Um, a, few, a few people have been caught out a few times because I generally speak in English, but I listen to what everybody else is saying. So I absorb information. I generally don't let on that I do understand what people are doing. Because people will tell you some stupid things right in front of you, assuming you don't understand a word they're saying. Um, for example, if somebody was saying, well, I, you know, stick 500 pesos on that because it's a stupid foreigner. Um, you understand it. And that, that's the bit that, as long as they don't know, it's to your advantage. Um, like I said, a few people have been caught out. I mean, I remember... We had a party at the house, and my wife had a lot of friends over, and they were talking away, and I was busy doing other stuff. And then, you know, the, one of my wife's friends said, well, does your husband understand any Bisaya? And then I responded to her with a, a couple of sentences, and then the whole table went quiet, because they're trying to work out, did I say something that might have been offensive? that I didn't know he actually understood at the same time they're like how do we move forward now the, the, the game's changed but the whole point with languages is do it if you can do it if you can't you can't um, one of the things I would say being in Spain though if you're a Filipino it may be worth you learning Spanish because Bisaya um, is very close to the Spanish language and you may quick pick it up extremely quickly which may be another string to your bow especially with doing virtual assistant work um, just want to throw that in there but yeah you'll always be a foreigner you'll never get away from it but the language does help but it's mainly for your benefit locals don't have the hang up in the same way that we do in the West well I say we do I mean I don't mean we but a lot of people in the West have a hang up with people coming to their country and don't speak the local language being English predominantly um, and then get annoyed that you come to my country and you can't speak the language blah 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 I generally don't bother with it I mean Spain's got the right idea 
you don't if you come here and don't speak English, they're not going to translate anything for you. It's going to be expensive to get somebody else to do it for you. UK bends over backwards. There's about 16 languages just for the NHS. But the the point here is the Philippines, like the like um, Spain, won't adapt to you. Um, they will speak English because they're already predominantly speaking English anyway. But they're not going to go out of their way to do it. They will speak English in front of you, but you'll hear conversations when the people start talking to each other again or drop into Bisaya, Tagalog, or whatever. When they're speaking to each other, then they'll come back to you and speak in English. But that's pretty normal. Um, even with Sobranos going to Manila, they'll end up speaking Tagalog because although the uh, Bisaya region speaks uh, Bisaya and Tagalog, most people that speak Tagalog in Manila do not speak Cebuano. So they're used to flipping between different languages because they have to do it anyway. Um, it's quite funny on flights because depending on which way you're flying, the languages are spoke differently. You know, whether you're going to Manila or coming from Manila, you'll, you'll know it's a language change. All right, thanks for watching.